When I was 14 years old, I was walking through the living room and noticed on the table a letter. And I was absolutely blown away and astounded by this letter. It was written in the most beautiful handwriting I'd ever seen in my life. And I assure you, up to that point in my life, handwriting didn't really mean anything. I asked my mother what this was and she said, well, it's from Uncle Jeffrey. It's a thank you letter for his visit. And Uncle Jeffrey is an art teacher and a calligrapher. I said, right, I said, can I borrow the letter please? And I did, and for two years I just copied that letter out writing, Dear Auntie Margaret and Uncle Peter, thank you for a wonderful visit, it was delightful. I afterwards found out, of course, that there's a lot more to it than just writing with a pen. You need a special pen, you need some precise instructions as to the proportions of the letters, the height, the width, etc. And I've been working at that now for over 60 years and I think I'm getting there, but there's still a few little hurdles to get over. When I'm teaching, I try to use the analogy of the rhythm and movements of the various forms and letter strokes I make to the movements of a dancer or an ice skater. And I'm sure when anybody's ever seen an ice skater or a dancer, they say, oh, I'd love to do that. And I'm sure we would, but you don't just rush out into the middle of the ice on the first day of your skates and do a you know, triple lutz and a death spiral. There are some basic forms, some basic letters or shapes that you have to do. For me, in calligraphy, the shapes are something like this. Is calligraphy a dying art? Sadly, I think it is, particularly in the traditional calligraphy style. But you know, there are some things that really cannot be done in any other way other than something written by hand. It is so important to express certain emotions. And of course, it's very beautiful. And I'm sure if you ever receive anything written by hand, you will understand the beauty of that. And I can't ever overestimate how important it's been in my life after seeing that letter when I was a young boy that was beautifully written by hand, and I read that letter and it made such an impact. It has, in fact, made me whatever I am today, and that is, I'm a calligrapher.